it's quite a long process to properly conduct the research and actual search to find something in the deep ocean. The process begins with archival research and Jeff Morris has spent many hours searching through archives of World War II records and found dozens of reports, deck logs, uh, translated Japanese reports that were very useful. Then you have to of course sift through all those things and figure out which ones are important and what is the real analytical process that you want to follow. In this case it was obvious after quite a bit of study that the Nautilus was the important ship to try to reconstruct. So the next step in the analysis is to reconstruct the paths of the important vessels or aircraft and attempt to establish the positions of those at key moments from which you can then determine the position to search. The next step becomes developing a plan for the search. You have to take into account the depth, the equipment you have, the size and condition of the target, and many other variables that will dictate the method that you'll use to actually search. The, in this particular case, we had certain uh, sonar equipment made available to us by the Navy in conjunction with research with the University of Hawaii and some seafloor mapping that the Navy needed to do and testing of equipment that the Navy needed to do. So knowing what we had to work with, we developed a search plan that included uh, searching particular areas that our RENAV indicated as well as looking at other targets of interest and other things that were of academic interest. That Sonar is really good at covering large areas and finding suggestive targets. It's not good at all at identifying them because they're simply sound reflections and can be very misleading. So the next step is to identify the targets optically and that means video or still camera or um, uh, electronic camera footage. And that was a subject of another operation because that equipment wasn't available in the first one. Having identified par targets to look at, we looked at them with optically and, and were able to verify that we had found wreckage of, of a ship. The final step is to identify the ship. And that's where the naval architects and historians come in to help us verify the target that we found and from then we can move on to look for other targets of interest in future operations.